Guess who's back? Back again. Robup's back. So hello friend. Hello once again YouTube and welcome to another video. So it's been a long time coming, it has been. After I lost my sanity and found my sanity and then lost it again and and then <sighs> started watching Pyrocynical videos. I decided, you know what, let's just settle down and review a classic Doctor Who action figure set, because I don't know about you, but being forced to watch, or watch, <laughs> it's so good, yeah, it's, it's, it's Amazing! <laughs> it's so, so amazing! <coughs> it is! <laughs> it's so great! <laughs> oh, yeah! Okay! So, what? So, back when. Doctor Who had their fiftieth anniversary. Uh, character options, you re may remember them. I don't know. They released a. They released a range of re-releases and slightly different variations of Daleks. Some varied from the cool and. New like the like the Paradon uh, third doctor and invin slightly visible Dalek to the downright lazy like the sixth doctor and <sighs> and uh, <laughs> uh 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 but uh, Necros Dalek. <clears throat> from Revelation of the Daleks. And today we're looking at uh, one that goes in in between that line. Yeah. Today we're going to look at the fifth Doctor and Dalek set from Resurrection of Dalek of the Daleks where a bunch of stuff happened. People kept on betraying each other. Uh, the Daleks got green toothpaste inside their the their body and and Tegan left the TARDIS. Oh wait, spoiler alert. So let's go on to the figures themselves. Fuck off Doctor <laughs> Now let's have a look at <coughs> look at our friend here. Je Jeremy the Dalek. Jeremy the Dalek is an amazing Dalek, as you can s see. <laughs> see, he's <clears throat> there's nothing wrong about Jeremy the Dalek. To be honest, it's been a long time <laughs> since I did <laughs> did a Doc a review, so yeah. Don't expect me to be good at this. Yeah, this detail on this dude is pretty good. Yeah, it's, 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 um, yeah, it's amazing, I guess. And it's basically like a re release of this uh, Dalek that came with in this Revelation of the Daleks Collector's set. Only just a little bit different, I believe. These, the, these, uh, the eye, the flashlights on here are slightly greener and it's a little bit more accurate to the actual episode. I don't have the image on hand because I don't use editing software. <laughs> but, but it's 
This is a trust me on this one. This is kind of different. It's not slightly different, just kind of. So, time to have a look at the articulation. Now, his head can do the 460 degrees blaze it, ex exorcist, <sighs> twist, I swallow your soul! Mm -hmm. His eye can go up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. You're getting very sleepy, you're getting very sleepy. <coughs> his, his, his plunger can do the same, only just, you know, better. It can go that way and that way, that way and that way, then it can go all around. Same with the, same with the laser, the death ray. Yeah, like, there was a continuing habit with classic Doctor Who uh, action figures, to, especially the Daleks, to have bleeding paint. Uh, and and this one, there's nothing wrong with it, actually. There's nothing wrong. <coughs> so, yeah, it's, it's amazing. 10 out of 10 IGN. <laughs> Except for one thing, that happens. Yeah, it. Yeah, it could be. It could be a handy accessory when you want to recreate uh, 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 Genesis of the Daleks, but it's still there. They. Well, why did they do it? And if you're a twelve-year-old and never heard of. Heard of this version of the Daleks? Let's compare a new series Dalek to a classic series Dalek. Uh, yes, the the classic series Daleks look. Uh, they do. You can't really see them in the dark. Whilst with these, you can see the eye light. You can, and they're like. Oh wait, there's a Dalek right there! <laughs> to be fair, the Paranine Dalek does look uh, slightly like this, only it's a rainbow colour. So, yeah. Just... Next! Piss off Daleks. <sighs> we have the Fifth Doctor! From the same story because it, of course, it's it's a set on it. So the fifth doctor here, it he's he's got his hat where he doesn't actually wear this often. I don't know what he has against hats. Does he have it against his? Last incarnation? Does he really hate it? Is that the reason why Tom Baker didn't appear in the Five Doctors story? Consp conspiracy theory? I think not, Illuminati. <coughs> so yeah, and and he also has a uh, salary, of course, because he can't have enough. Fifth Doctor figures without the celery, and this is his season twenty four outfit. I'm I'm really confused. I I'm not actually looking at any sources where he became evil and <laughs> started to rule the whole entire world. <laughs> just just get in. It's just to change up the outfit. It is. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's amazing. The likeness to Peter Davidson is okay. Yeah, it's, it's okay. Now onto the article. Now onto the articulation. His arm can go all the way round. Yay! And so is his whatever bicep thing. Blah blah blah. Can do the same thing. His arm can go up. Up all the way around, and is so is his hand, which looks really weird. His head cannot do the 406 degrees exorcist 
quick twist because of the damn color. His his uh his leg can kick out and slightly it isn't slightly hindered by his jacket. It's pliable plastic. His torso can turn swift around. That looks absolutely weird. And and so can his legs. Oh my god, this is this is weird. Am I watching a David Flinch film? Probably not. And his leg can kick kick out there. And so his leg can do that, but it's slightly hindered by the pl by the plastic because I don't know it. And this is, and he can't really do the splits, and he doesn't have that ankle rocker pivot that everybody loves. Well, all of them don't. So, in short, this set is okay. It's worth your money. Or was it because it was like twenty pounds for this? <laughs> yeah, but it's still a good set. It's amazing. You can tell that I'm trying to hide from uh somebody. Uh, no, no, no. Okay, I'll do your bidding, Mr. Terrorist Guy. Uh, it, uh, <laughs> totally not related to to any <laughs> any YouTuber that be, that was <laughs> that that was cut that. Many people thought was was kidnapped. No, 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 totally not. No, no, no. So in short, this set is amazing. Just nine out of ten IGN. Uh, uh, so I'll see you next time. Peace out. Bye.